another recording of a conversation I had with my wife about Jehovah Witnesses. Uh, I call it a conversation. In some parts, it's an argument or confrontation. Uh, some other parts are very defensive from her part and my part as well. But a lot have been said in this particular exchange of words between us. Started off funny. In the middle of it, it was somewhat quasi-argumentative. But towards the end, it was somewhat of an understanding of where I'm coming from and where my wife is coming from. Uh, a lot has been divulged. In this recording, I also find out that the elders might know about me. Not of my YouTube channel or anything else like that, but they are aware that I'm asking questions. They are aware that I'm reading the older publications. Uh, this is because I sort of told my wife one time that uh, is Jesus her mediator? And that was an argument some, some weeks ago or a month ago or so. But it cleared up the next day. I think I've told you guys about it. And uh, she went to the elders to, to ask them, this one particular elder that she's somewhat close to, I guess. But with that conversation that she had asking questions, uh, she put on notice my snooping around with the older publications and, you know, the history of the Jehovah Witnesses and how I'm bringing that about. So with this, I think we could all learn about something. Uh, her responses, my response, my mistakes, and I've made many in this particular exchange of words. And when emotions kind of get involved, you can't help it. You're talking to your wife or your kids, you know, your loved ones that you want to sort of have them critically think about issues. It's hard not to be non-emotional about it. So the more you do it, I guess, is the more practice and more uh, desensitization of that particular aspect of it. But it's almost never, you're never going to desensitize about that stuff if you care deeply enough uh, about your loved ones. So with this, I opened up uh, this particular day. Uh, I had a phone call on my cell phone and it was from a restricted number. Turns out to be some uh, Jehovah Witness on the other side doing phone witnessing, and I guess my number was up. And she starts off with her her you know opening statements and stuff, and when she finishes that, I just asked her, "Oh, by the way, can I ask you a question? Uh, is Jesus your mediator?" And of course, her response was, "Yes, he was." And then I sort of told, was telling her about the story about the society teaches that he's not your mediator. It's not a known sort of teaching anymore, but it's still there, still, it's still active or permanent to, pertinent to what's going on today. In previous videos, I've mentioned that there is no good time to open up this dialogue with your loved ones about the truth about the truth or, you know, all the, all the stuff that the Jehovah Witnesses has been doing. But I thought this case was a perfect opportunity to open up this dialogue with the story of myself being uh, witness to on the phone. Oh, by the way, uh, that person on the phone, she cut me off and hung up the phone within three or four minutes of conversation. Uh, very defensive. She changed the subject. She said I didn't call for that. I was calling because of the, uh, you know, this, that, and the other, and, you know, that whole thing, and, and when I wouldn't budge off topic of the media, mediatorship, uh, she finally hung up on me. So that was the story I was relaying to my wife. And with that, it opened up the dialogue of what I wanted to talk to her about was the mediatorship of Jehovah Witnesses. And we spoke before about it, but this time I had all my ducks in a row, all the proof, the documentation. I just had to put it together in, in, in one package where she could read it. And I have the originals from the original publications as well. But this op this was an opportunity to, to at least open up dialogue in this in this area. And I did. And an hour and a half to two hours later, I come up with this particular recording. And I'm going to break this up into parts. Uh, 
because it's, it's just too long to be in one sort of you know uh youtube video so i'm going to make it into like a little mini series and maybe some comments in between talks but it goes all over the place just about but like i said it, it starts off a little funny then she gets defensive when she finds out or she catches wind that i'm trying to talk about the mediatorship of jesus which is a big sticking point in anybody's salvation really and uh it turns into an argument then a little bit of re reconciliation towards the end so uh and you'll yeah it, it was it's painful to hear but there is a sliver of hope within this whole exchange here and some surprising statements coming from her unfortunately uh she trusts the elders a bit too much and i told her that i wouldn't be asking him and talking to him just now about these issues because you may get marked or whatever and, and she says oh no they won't do that she is still very naive about how the society controls the flock uh, as far as that but uh, what she has going for her is that there's somebody else asking the question meaning myself so she's relaying the questions that I have or the statements that I have and trying to you know confirm it with the elders so by proxy i'm asking the questions and she's sort of asking them too to see what the real scoop is and of course the the elder told them that told my wife that uh, no jesus is her mediator but that's not the whole truth uh, as you know and this elder He's been up on the food chain, the JW food chain, so he, he's been around the block a few times and I have to play safe around him. Uh, I haven't met him directly yet, but uh, he's going to be an obstacle, but who knows, maybe this is an opening for everything. And you'll see in this video how it pans out. Guess what happened to me today? Well, it didn't happen to me. It was just weird. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I got a phone call, uh -huh. and uh, and it was on my uh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, what was it was, that uh, what was that? oh, it's a dictating machine. Oh, what is so it? I take notes sometimes, and uh, and I'm sitting there, you know, working and everything. I get, I get a phone call, <laughs> and on the screen it looked like it was restricted. <laughs> And when I saw that, usually it's you know it's not like the spam alert or nothing yeah. like that. I answer it, and it was a Jehovah Witness doing a witness thing on me. No way. No, um, I was going to record. I was looking to see where I could record it and everything because uh -huh. I was going to talk to her, right? Yeah. So uh, it, it wasn't from around here. It was like somewhere in the valley, somewhere far away, right? Mm -hmm. So they were making their rounds. So she goes ahead and does her spiel, you know, her, her script on. Nice I was, I was, but she was freaked out. Uh -huh. But let me explain. So she's going through her script, right? So uh -huh. she takes a good two minutes. It's like, oh, this, that, the other, blah, 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 blah. blah. Have you considered, uh, have you want to check jw.org? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I go there all the time, actually. And I do, you know, when I do my research. And then uh, I kind of cut her off from her, from her, you know, explanation. I went all like your parents on her, in a way, asking questions. Mm -hmm. So I asked her, uh, can I ask you a personal question? Well, it's not personal, but, but it's, you know, something related, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and, that, you know, she's like, uh, oh, uh, okay, I'll try. Yeah, not too personal, you know. And I'm like, no, no, nothing like that. And I asked her, uh, is Jesus your mediator? And she's, you know, there's a pause, and she goes, well, yes, of course, this and that and the other, right? You like her on the trip? No. Whatever. N not according to the society, to the Jehovah Witnesses. I know, you keep saying that, but it's not I, I showed you, I showed you proof. I know, but it wasn't really true. It is proof. What, what, what the book? The little booklet? No. No, that's not proof enough? No. They said it there in print. No, Jesus is our mediator. Not directly. Yes. No. I know you keep saying that, but now you're doing this to someone else. Well, yeah, I asked her, and mm -hmm. like I'm going to explain to you and everything, I explained to her that uh, according to your website, you know, because I go there to check out the latest, uh, what do you call it, 
uh, well, how do they put it? Things that have changed, policies that changed from, from before, updated. And I looked there to see if there's any so-called new light on that or whatever, and there wasn't. And if you do a, a search on JW.org and you write down, uh, is Jesus my mediator? There'll be a, a question to, 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 you know, answer some questions or whatever. That'll come up. And then another article, there's like three articles and each three of them would say that Jesus is not your mediator. He is mediator to the 144,000 only. Uh -huh. And your association with the 144,000 is what makes you by extensions, whatever that means, uh, by extension, that would say that, that, you know, you being in association with them is how you get trickled down blessings from, from Jesus being, being mediator that way, but not directly. Mm -hmm. So look it up. It's there. It's in your studies in the scriptures. It's in the older version of that. A to... Okay, I'll look into it, but mostly Jesus is our mediator. Not according. And the 144,000 are working directly with Jesus. According to your theology, but but that's yeah. not the point. At that point there, I don't care about anything else except that point where Jesus is your mediator. I know, you're stuck on that. Well, he is the only way to get to paradise, right? He is the way, the life, and the truth. You can't get through to the Father unless you go through Jesus, you know, those other sayings. Yeah, and there's like but... 30. But it's true, and that's why I say it, and that's why I asked this lady about that and said, yeah, you, you know, go on the website. Go on your official website. You always tell me that, you know, you should ask us or, or consult the website mm -hmm. for, for your version of it and not to, to okay, talk about anything fine, else. I'll look at it, but I really... Personally, I go to the Bible. Think that you're just no. being crazy. No, why would I say that? Well, I, I think you're just making a big deal over nothing. Like, Jesus not being your mediator is no. nothing? No. You're saying, you're like disputing what we say. Because it's true. And why would, you challenge me to find these things out. No, I don't. Well, in a way you do, in a way, when I, when, I, when we talk and everything. But, but uh, and I do, I go back and I brought myself Okay, fine. A Bible and everything. I'm going yes, through I this. Yes, I get it. And you're going through older teachings that ha that are obsolete. Yeah. No, a lot of if if you read some of that stuff there, yeah. uh, some of that stuff is still applicable today. It's and true I that it to is, see. but no, no. Okay, like okay. That's not writing. important. Right? It's it's older writing, but but that's not the point. Still, you know, how are you saved? What is your gospel? Can you tell me? Can you explain it to me? We're saved because Jesus died for our sins. Okay, and we have to believe. But we're not saved just because of that. We have to actually live our life in accordance with like the Bible. And so it's not through grace? It's, it's not, through works? No, it's not once saved, always saved. It is through works. Works afterwards, but still you're, you're justified when you show faith first. Anyway, no, 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 no. Yeah, but it's not we're, we're once going... saved, always saved. Okay, well, I'm not... I'm not saved just because I'm a Jehovah's Witness. I have to actually prove myself to, to death. That you have I'm to work. Not. Yes, exactly. And so, so grace is not a gift. It's, it's something that you work for. So, to prove yourself... You can't just be like, oh, I'm saved so I can do whatever I want. Well, you're not. But if you truly are saved, you're not going to do that in your heart anyway. So, the works... Human if, nature... If, Human nature, but you still, when you're saved, you, you are aware of that. Yes, but we're and not. You work to being true, good. But we're not once saved, always saved. I'm not disputing that at all. You, you may lose your salvation. I haven't studied that part of it yet, but okay. anyway. But I'm saying that's our belief. We're okay. not once saved, always saved. Okay, but you're still working. You still have grounds to boast. Where Paul says, you know, you are saved by faith, no. so you won't boast to be saved because of works, because you're saved because of faith. Get it? We have faith that we believe that Jesus is real and Jehovah is real, but we're not once saved, always saved. I could just be like, 
not living my life good and I'm always trying to work to be better. True, but then you're not safe through faith because if you're if you're safe by being faithful to or have faith in in his death and resurrection who died for you I'm, I, I'm that only means you saved have a change if I of live heart, my life but you have a change of his and, morals okay and right but you, you have a change of heart and you work at being better you saved at that point but you still have to I still have to you, you're aware to and, but from your okay I still have to study that point okay but I'm just Bo- bottom line bottom line the society teaches that Jesus is not your mediator plain and simple their their documentation has been saying that since the early 50s mm-hmm. so now you have no mediator you not you don't have a covenant the covenant is only for the 144,000 mm-hmm. your dad told me that uh, the New Testament is only written for the 144,000 and not for everyone mm-hmm. do you believe that as well I don't take it like that. I take it like the 144,000 are helping us to be part of everything. But the Bible says not to not to place your faith in man or principalities. Your only way is to go through Jesus. Mm-hmm. And now they're saying Jesus is not your mediator. It's only mediator to them, which places them in front of Jesus. I still like to think of Jesus as my mediator, so I would have to look into all that other stuff because I've always been taught that Jesus is my mediator. Well, a simple no matter what. A simple search on JW.org, their official website, which I have looked multiple times oh, and got Oh, oh come on, and girls. I asked Brother that too because I know you were bringing it up and I was talking about it and he was like no Jesus is our mediator and he's wrong too he doesn't know that teaching is not, is not taught often but he's a he was a of course he knows then he's lying to you they're not keeping a secret they're lying they're lying they're not lying jw.org that's all you got to do is just put I it on there on the you're just misunderstanding everything. misunderstanding that Jesus is not the mediator for yes. the the not the mediator to the big flock or the large flock or the, the multitude, but only to the little flock. Yes, but I'll it's, ask. It's black and white. I will ask, know. but I... I would say don't ask him because then... He, Why? I want to. Okay, you can ask him, but you run the You're risk. Just so... No, I don't You run the risk of him marking you against I, the others if you I press that. I am not that. fearful of that. Okay. Okay, then I challenge you to ask him then. Okay, I don't I want to talk to him, but I'll talk I to you. I don't care. Oh, and by the way, you could count time you talking to me here. Oh, brother. No, no, seriously, seriously. No, you're being a butt. No, 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 no I'm not. No, it, isn't it true? No, I mean, you're being a butt. How am I being a butt? You just it's asked. part of the procedure, ain't it? No, no, let's not argue. I'm Guess not arguing. what? You're pushing me away and... Uh, will you at least research it on your website? Yes, I will, but you're still pushing me away. And you're being I don't know how am I pushing you away. Oh, whatever. No, tell me. Tell me. I want to know. Tell you me. You are completely dismissive. Be open. Tell me I, the truth. I told you what I believe, and you're just like, no, no. No, but because no. you're putting words in my mouth, I'm just you're walking away like you like that. I have to pee. Oh, my God. You see, that's what happens when we talk. I'm, I'm being sincere here.